Okay, so let me ask you guys a question. How out of hand does contemporary Christian music have to get when even the biggest writers in the contemporary Christian music world are saying, hey, guys, this is getting a little out of hand? As your friend Spencer here. I hope you like that sweet introduction. We're going to add that to our new videos from now on. But ladies and gentlemen, the man who wrote the song In Christ Alone, Keith Getty, has come out on November 9th and saying that modern worship music is utterly dangerous, causing de-Christianizing of God's people. And ladies and gentlemen, I've been kind of beating this drum on this channel for a while now, and it's not really about me being right. It's that what is being said on this channel is correct. It's not about who's right. It's about what's right. And you know it's getting out of hand when the big names in this movement are saying, guys, we need to step this back a little bit. Now, most of the attacks that I get, they, they try to isolate me and act like, you know, Spencer, you're just the only one saying this. The truth is, ladies and gentlemen, I am not the only one saying this. Uh, there is, uh, God has alarmed me by showing me the things and the direction by which all this worship is going and all this entertainment disguised as worship is going. And a lot of people are waking up to this, and uh, and I'm not the only one who's saying this. So don't please don't pretend to think like I'm just some nutcase off here all by myself saying this. The major players in the industry are saying exactly what I've been saying for years now. This is getting out of hand. Let me read to you the article. This is the Christian Post, and it is posted on November 9th, and I want you to read this. Keith Getty, modern worship music is utterly dangerous, causing de-Christianizing of God's people. That is a crazy thing to say. Uh, Mr. Keith Getty here is the man who wrote in Christ Alone, and Christ Alone writer Keith Getty is warning church leaders about the modern worship movement, which he describes as one of cultural relevance that is utterly dangerous and is contributing to the de-Christianizing of God's people. In an interview with the Christian Post Getty said modern worship songs songs are full of <laughs> it's like this guy's been watching my channel. Uh, modern worship songs focus on emotionalism rather than sound doctrine and scriptural truths. This, he said, leads to a generation ill-equipped to understand or defend the Christian faith. Uh, the Christian faith. Yes, thank God, somebody saying it. Uh, I've been saying this all along. An authentic generation doesn't begin with. Uh, Catharsis. It has to begin with the authentic picture of God of the Bible. He explained over 75% of what are called the great hymns of the faith talk about eternity, heaven, and hell. The fact that we have peace with God, yet less than 5% of modern worship songs talk about eternity. Hey, you Hillsong people, can you please read that? Just just pause this video and read that about 17 times, okay? Y you people are missing it, Okay, that's, and Keith Getty said that. I'm, Spencer Smith didn't say it. Keith Getty said that. You know, our Reformed friends love to talk about the immutability of God. They love to talk about the fact that God doesn't change. And they say that on one side of their mouth, but the other side of their mouth, they say, wow, man, Lecrae's rap songs are just filled with Bible truth. You know, either God doesn't change or he did. Either you believe in the immutability of God or you don't. Okay, and God has not changed. Culture has changed and pragmatic church leaders who are using their man wisdom, not the wisdom from above, but the wisdom that comes from man, and they're walking by sight and not living by faith and have bought into pragmatism and have kneeled to, relev uh, to, be, to relevancy, are following the culture rather than following Christ. And when you do that, you create a monster. And that's what these people have done. That's what Hillsong is. That's what Bethel music is. That's what Elevation Worship is. That's what Casting Crowns is. These people have created a monster. You guys have gone so off the ranch that you're not even in the realm of Christianity anymore. And I'm waking you up to this because you have created a false religion with your neo-evangelical modernism uh, hybrid compromise that you're into. You have created something that is not Christianity 
Christianity. You have created a monster, and it's time that you wake up to this and that you repent of that and come out of that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not the only one saying this. When Keith Getty's saying this, you know it's bad, and we have got to awaken to this and come out of this. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I've, I beat this drum, and I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop because this is what is going on today. I'm alarmed by it. Listen, when your music changes, eventually your doctrine changes, and then eventually your lifestyle changes, and then and then at that point, we have no gospel witness anymore. This isn't about music. This is about the church and the identity of God. And this is about the doctrine of Christianity. And if we redefine Christianity too many times, then we don't have Christianity anymore. This is about the gospel. This is, the, I mean, right now, people say, why don't, you just, why don't you just focus on the gospel? I am focusing on the gospel. And this music that is man-centered, emotional-driven, and is not producing Holy Ghost revival, it is not bringing people closer to God, it is, it is stirring a religious emotionalism inside of them. It is not producing a Holy Spirit-inspired uh, walk with God. It is not producing holiness and righteousness and godliness in these people's lives. Uh, this stuff is a hindrance to the work of God. It produces a cheap imitation, a religious euphoria that is that is pretending to be the move of the Holy Ghost. It is a false spirit. I dare say that in many cases, this is the spirit of Kundalini that is taking over these denominations, taking over these ministries. And I'm telling you, there is nothing that is more relevant to the gospel than what I am talking about right now. This is a big deal this should alarm you. And even Keith Getty is coming out and saying, this is not good. It's man-centered. It's emotionalism. Let me read that to you again. He said, many modern worship songs focus on emotionalism rather than sound doctrine and scriptural truth. I, I, could, I could hug the man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God. He's right. He's right. He's 100% right in what he's saying. And it's one thing for me to say it, but it's another thing for that man to say it. And when these guys are saying it, you better take note because these are the players in this whole scene. And when it ends, listen, it's one thing for me to have a YouTube channel and be 100 miles away from this saying there's something wrong, but when a, when a man who is playing one of the key roles inside that system is saying, whoa, we need to pump the brakes here a little bit. We're, we're, we're going off the ranch. That is huge. That is huge, and you better not take that lightly. So, appreciate you guys. Subscribe to our channel, and uh, I, I wrote a book on this a couple years ago. Wrote a book on it. I want you to get the book. We'll leave a link for you below. Calling Evil Good, the Live Christian Rock and Roll. I, I'd explain all this to you, and I want you to get it. Check it out. God bless you, friend. Thank you very much.